Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Morning Cartooning, where we learn about the history of famous cartoon characters and learn to draw them together. Today we learn about my favorite Nickelodeon Nicktoon character, Doug. Doug was an animated cartoon that originated on Nickelodeon in the early 1990s. It was one of the very first Nicktoons and happens to be one of my very favorite. Doug was created by animator Jim Jenkins and is about a regular 11-year-old kid named Doug Funny who moves to a new town and faces regular everyday problems. Problems like a new school, his first crush, and the school bully. The supporting characters include Doug's funny little gray dog named Porkchop, his best friend Skeeter, his schoolyard crush Patty Mayonnaise, and the school bully Roger. The show was very different from other Nicktoons at the time that starred talking babies and a weird cat and dog. It was a sweet, gentle show that dealt with everyday 11-year-old issues. Doug characters are designed minimally. That means the artist uses as few lines as possible to get the design across. You'll also notice the use of open lines, particularly when the artist renders hair. For example, Doug's hair does not have a clearly defined space. The top of his head is a series of open lines. All right, let's get started drawing Doug, and we're actually going to be doing two characters today. We're going to be doing Doug as well as his dog, Porkchop. Let's take a look at the reference drawing, and you'll notice that they are both in the exact same gesture. It looks like they're just about ready to start running, so we're going to start rendering that first. Um, make sure that you have, of course, paper that you like, pencil that you like, an eraser that you like, uh, your permanent marker for inking, I'm using a regular fine point today, and then of course your colors, but we'll go into that later on. But let's take a look at some foundational shapes. All right, um, we're gonna put Doug off to the side just a little bit so that we have some room for pork chop down here. So let's start with his head, which is your basic oval shape. All right, and then we're going to do just a line of his body, and if you can tell by the drawing, it sort of does a swoop going this way. It's almost as if it was sort of like a bean shape. All right, so we're going to go down this way and create that little bit of a bean shape here. And again, we're doing foundational shapes first, and then we'll go into details later on. All right, now his one arm is going to be going out this way, creating a shoulder right here. And this arm goes up, and then it bends, and then he's making a fist, which is right next to his head, right about there. Right? There's also a little bit of a neck connector right there. The other arm is going to be over here, and that's going to be going a little bit further out. It's going to be less bent on an angle and more of a, a curve. And the other fist right there. Remember, we're just doing the shapes right now. We're doing the details later. This leg right here is going to go up and out. Remember, he's getting ready to run. So this is going to be his shorts pant leg here, and then this leg is going to be coming out. This is the opening of the um, shorts. This leg's going to be coming down and bending, going out and bending down into a sock eventually, and a sneaker. We're going to see, be mostly, if we take a look at the drawing again, we're going to be seeing the underside of his sneaker. All right. All right. We're just going to put that little shape there for right now. All right. The other leg is going to go down. This is the one that's going to be on the ground. So here's the other pant leg bending slightly to a sock and to sneaker. Now, this sneaker is going to be on the ground. The, the tip of the sneaker is going to be on the ground, but his heel is going to be up. That's going to cause his foot to be bent. Right about like that. All right. Okay. 
That's our basic body composition. We don't have to go into too much detail right now. We'll do that later on. So let's put in pork chop where he's going to go. So we're going to put pork chop's head here. And if we look at the drawing, it's, it's a very odd head shape. He's got his regular head right here. And then this is the muzzle. His muzzle looks like it's twice as big as his, um, his head. So this part is going to be fairly large, and then this part's going to be fairly small. So we'll do a little part like that, almost like a uh, almost like a gumdrop shape, and then connect the muzzle on from there. Now it kind of looks like a submarine. Right, and he's got an ear here and an ear there. Very simple shaped eyes, which I'm going to draw in now just so that we know where they're going to go. And his nose right there. Let's do his body. Remember, it's in almost the same um, position that Doug's body is in. It's a little bit different. His in where Doug's hands are going up, Pork Chop's hands are going to be going down. Um, so he's going to have one arm going around this way into a fist and another one going out this way into a fist. Now, pork chop has fists. Real dogs do not have fists. That means that um, pork chop, as he is designed, is anthropomorphized. Again, that means when a non-human character, like an animal, or um, even a uh, inanimate object, is given human-like qualities. So, um, pork chop is anthropomorphized. He's got a little bit of a collar right here and his tag. One leg is going to be going up this way. It almost looks like an S shape right now, like a bubble letter S without putting that little last bit over there. And then his other foot is going to be going down this way. This is the one that's going to be on the ground. His tail. And this is his belly. His belly is a different color than the rest of his body. Um, all right, before we go into too, too much detail with pork chop, let's go back to Doug. Let's work on his face. All right. Uh, he's going to be looking out this way. So his face line is going to be right about here. All right. So his ear is going to be right about there. And he's got a very simple ear. It's not too detailed. It's basically like an open letter C. Use this face line as our guide. So his nose is actually going to go off the side, off the edge of the head. And his face is mostly nose. His nose is pretty big. Right? And then he's got very simple eyes. He's got just two little dots for eyes here. And the other one's on the other side of the nose there. His mouth, again, very simple. Top lip into a smile, bottom lip, echoing that smile, connect the two with a curved line. We're going to shade that in because we're going to be inking that in later. All right. I'm just going to just darken the lines of the side of the head and we're going to put in his, um, his hair. Now I mentioned in the slide presentation, if we take a look at his hair, his hair is just open lines. There's no clear definition of line. The definition comes from the coloration of his skin. Uh, where it stops is where his head stops and his hair begins. But it, there's no clear line. Uh, so we're just going to draw in some open lines for his hair. Alright, so there's going to be two lines going this way, one and two, and then some lines going in another direction, almost indicating that he has a part in his hair. Here, two, three, four, 
five, and then another one going in the opposite direction. All right. Fairly simple. All right, let's do his one sleeve. And then we're going to be adding some lines to it to make it look like a sweater. He's wearing a sweater vest, which um, we're going to render just by putting in a second line out here and then putting in some horizontal lines right there. Again, indicating that it is a, uh, a different texture than the shirt underneath. All right. We're going to do the same thing for the waist of the sweater right here, adding on that second line and then some vertical lines now because it's going up and down. Um, before we get into the arms, let's just finish out this section of his shorts. We're just going to darken that line there, darken the line of the oval that's going to indicate the um, inner cuff of his shorts. This line can be all connected, and then this is his other leg. All right, now we can get into these um, two fists that we need to draw. Basically, it's really not that difficult. We are going to just darken the line of the, the arm. And then he's got a fist. We're seeing the back of the fist, so there's not a lot of detail. We're seeing the back of the hand, so we're not going to see that where the actual fingers turn over. And we see a thumb tucked right there. All right. That's it. Now, the other hand, we're going to see the inside of the hand. Let's just darken that cuff right there. All right. This one, we're going to see a thumb bent over. and then three fingers. Two of these are going to be tucked behind the thumb, and the third is going to be out that way. All right, that's it. Let's do his leg. Remember, this is the one that's going to go out and bend down. And that's going to be connected to a sock. that most of is going to get cut off by the sneaker. Remember how I said before, we're going to be, because his uh, foot is up, we're going to be seeing the underside of his sneaker. So we're going to draw a line right here. This is going to be the treads, the side treads, and then this is going to be the bottom treads. Right, and we might see just a little bit of the red right there. You, uh, we'll be able to see that better once we start inking, and I'll clean up those lines a little bit. Let's do over here. This is the leg going down into the sock. side treads. Okay, let's move on to pork chop. We actually don't need to do too much to pork chop other than adding in some pupils for his eyes, an eyebrow, insides of the ears, one, two, three hairs up at the top, and let's give him a little bit more of a smile. That's going to go right into the muzzle. We're going to put a little um, circle inside his nose. That's where the gleam is going to be. He's going to have a shiny nose. And then this into the collar. And that's basically it, other than putting a couple of separator lines inside his fist. 
we don't have to be too detailed with that. And we're ready to start inking, I think. All right. Remember, be very careful with your permanent marker, um, especially around uh, your clothing and furniture. If you get it on your skin, eventually it'll come off, but it's going to take a lot of work to get it off of furniture or clothing. So be very, very careful with your permanent marker. All right, let's start with his head. Here's his ear and the line going up. Remember his nose is going off the edge, so we're going to uh, stop the line there of his face, put in the nose, and then continue. All right, now let's put in his hairline. Here's where it's going to go in the opposite direction. Last one going in the opposite direction of those lines. You can even put in a little eyebrow for him right there, give him a little bit more character, and then we can ink in his mouth. All right. Here's his neck. That's one shoulder. Here is the different texture of the sweater right there. Let's do this arm. Remember, we're going to see the back side of the hand here, so there's not going to be a lot of detail. And we are going to see the inside of this hand, so we will see the thumb curled in. One finger tucked behind, two finger tucked behind, third finger we see outside. Alright, let's do this leg before we finish the sweater. Now remember, there's going to be an oval right here that's going to indicate the inside of the cuff. That's where his leg is going to go out. There's a line here, again, indicating a different texture. All right, this is where we need to be a little bit careful just to make sure that we see all the lines. Here's his, the underfoot, the treads, and that's where there's that little difference. This will be white, this will be red eventually when it comes to coloring. Side treads, under treads. Okay. Let's put in that short leg and this leg going into the sock. Doug. Let's do pork chop. We'll start with his eyes. And his eyes are up here. He's looking at Doug. Now, we're going to ink his ear and his head as if it was all one piece.
coloring in his nose, all black except for that little white spot, which will indicate the gleam. All right, let's do his collar. It's coming down this way. There's his tag. And can put another little line on the side so that it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. All right, let's do his belly just to about there because I want to do the arms first. This arm's going around. The little fist right there. Again, we're not seeing too much detail. It is a paw. Just put a little separator line right there. Here's this one leg going up. His belly. Another line of his belly. Actually put another bit of it line right there. His tail. And then finally his bottom leg or his last leg. All right, inking is done. Let's take a little bit of time to erase our original pencil lines. Pencil lines are gone. We take a quick look, see if there's anything that needs to be inked. Actually, it looks pretty good this time. So let's begin um, coloring. We're going to use um, a skin tone for his face. Now I'm stopping the skin tone after I do just the bottoms of the lines of his hair. Again, indicating where his skin is going to stop and his hair is going to start. Okay, we can do the same for the neck as well as the arm not his cuff, the arm. And the other arm. This leg. And this leg. He's wearing a white t-shirt underneath his green sweater, so the only thing that we're going to be doing green is the, um, the line going around the arm here and then the sweater down here. And I'm using a light green. going to do a light brown for the shorts. Inside of the cuff as well as the outside. You could 
could do a little bit darker on the inside because there's going to be more shadow in there. So just press a little bit harder or put on another layer of the light brown on the inside of the cuff. This gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay. Um, everything else is white except for the red of his sneaker and the only part of the red we're going to see on this sneaker is this part right here. And this part right here. Okay. And then pork chop is all gray. We have a nice slate gray here. And the only part that is not going to be gray are his eyes, of course, and his belly. Everything else is gray. His belly is staying white, but he's going to have a yellow tag. And you could actually use the skin tone for his collar. And there it is. Doug Funny and Pork Chop.